Hi everyone, my name is Christina with Hologic and today we are going to be talking about the Truno Gamma Probe, which is a single-use sterile gamma probe used for sentinel lymph nodes and radioactive seeds. So the system itself consists of a user feedback unit tablet and a single-use sterile probe. We're going to go ahead and turn the UFU or user feedback unit on. The power button is right on the top of the device. So we're just going to hold that in and you'll see the screen starting to illuminate. We can actually pair the probe through the packaging before actually taking it out and putting it on the sterile field. Oftentimes surgeons like to test the signal in the axilla area prior to starting the case. And we can actually do that through the sterile packaging before taking it out. So let's go ahead and pair the probe with the UFU tablet. As you can see, the default Gamma Probe screen has shown up on the tablet right now. And if we actually look at the probe itself, you'll see that there's a flashing blue light that's blinking in the handle of the probe. That actually means that the tablet and the probe have been paired together. So let's go ahead now and take it out of the packaging. The probe itself has four buttons that are on the handle an M button to change the mode, a plus and minus button, and a C button, which is going to give us counts. Each button on the probe has two functions, a short press and a long press. So let's go ahead and start with the M button, which stands for mode. So a short press scan mode. of the M button is actually going to toggle our probe point mode. between scan mode and point mode. The collimator of our probe is actually built internally into the probe. So by hitting the M button, we're actually able to open the collimator up for scan mode or scan mode, point mode. For point mode, we're actually able to narrow the collimator's focus. The plus and minus buttons allow us to change the volume. And actually down here, you can see where the volume control is being changed. And then the C button Zero CPS. provides us with a count. So I actually have a radioactive source right here in front of me. And you can see by hitting that C button whenever it's over the radioactive source that we can get a count of whatever area of tissue we're in front of at that moment. Those were all the short presses on the probe. Now moving on to the long presses. If we actually hold the M button in for approximately two seconds, we can actually switch the UFU into seed mode. So now we're able to read I-125 seeds using our UFU. To go back into reading for uh, Technesium 99, scan mode. we can just hit that M button again and return to scan mode. By holding in the plus button, we're actually able to go into a high range, which actually adjusts the audio feedback down um, to make it easier for the surgeon to hear the audio once we are approaching those higher counts. To go back into low range, we would just hold the minus button. Low range and then we would return our audio feedback to normal low range. By holding in the C button, we're actually able to generate an average count. Recording count, hold steady, 158 CPS. So as you can see, now that I have my average count, it's actually been recorded on the screen and it will actually stay there until the end of the case. It's very nice because that way you don't actually have to call out to the circulator in the room um, what the average count is. Everything has been recorded and is being logged on the screen in front of you. The battery inside of the probe lasts for approximately 100 minutes of active use. The probe itself, once paired with the UFU, lasts four hours total. We get four hours total and within that four hour period we have 100 minutes of active use. If you wanted to actually pause the probe from being used to conserve the battery, we can actually hold the minus button down. Low range. And we'll hear it announce low range. And we'll keep holding it. And that actually returns our UFU tablet back to the default screen and is preserving the active use battery for the rest of the case. To return to active use, just hold the M button in again. And now our device is repaired again with the UFU tablet and ready to use. At the end of the case, the tablet should be turned off 
and then turn back on again before the start of the next procedure to pair a fresh probe with the tablet. Thank you so much for watching and learning about the TrueNode Gamma Probe.